the only reason why cobots are so compelling and uh, and why we wanted to do them is that we wanted also to to stretch and to see this autonomous aspect because uh, and I'll explain this. Up to then, it seemed that people would show the robot and give a demonstration of the robot. I mean, they would give the demonstration of the robot giving a tour in the museum. But there was no place where the robot existed as a thing and existed as part of like the, the infrastructure and it would move by itself and it could be on its own. So I had this dream of actually this life with people, cats, dogs, and robots, you know? you know. And so I engaged on this uh, proposal for NSF actually on explaining this concept of continuously having the robots in our environment, not just uh, reliably navigating, reliably inter interacting with people, learning from people, changing environments, but always there, always. That was really the, the emphasis here. Uh, we went from robot soccer in which they were to go, be all by themselves to have these robots move around the, the, the building asking, press the elevator button, open the door and so forth. And we call this symbiotic autonomy because they were autonomous, yes, but they couldn't do it all. So they, they were in symbiosis in some sense with the people in the environment. And actually they could ask for help by email. I'm here, stuck, come and help me. But there was... This relief also, and this you cannot imagine, the relief of believing, oh, we can do it. We can do it. Like this, they can move, they can be in the building, they can actually do everything. That's it. It's just this concept that they ask for help. When I got to CMU and I told this to my student, Joy Deep, Stephanie and Brian, they were not happy. They were not happy at all. They uh, Exactly. They thought, oh, my God, she's cheating. What is this thing about asking for help? I mean, they were supposed to be AI creatures and independent and autonomous being doing it all like humans do. And then I started thinking, no, I'm sorry. I mean, even humans, I need to ask for help from time to time. I need to ask for help for many things. I mean, we are not, uh, who, who is the human that is omnipotent? We are not omnipotent. I mean, I don't reach that high. I don't, uh, I mean, we are in this business after all. Intelligence is about asking for help. I mean, it's, uh, this is what this is all about. You, you figure it out a few things and the others you ask for help and then you learn and you figure out more. And I mean, but what in the world? So I started understanding more about intelligence and my students got convinced and it became very engaging. Everybody loved to see the robot moving around in front of the elevator and asking, can you press the elevator button? They could hold doors, they would get out of the way. It was an amazing uh, accomplishment, I think. 